In this video, we will cover how to set up uh, uh, Kerberos authentication with MongoDB, leveraging Centrify and Active Directory. But first, why do you want to do this? You know, uh, the first thing is, you know, time to market, right? So rather than in your MongoDB project, standing up an MIT Kerberos and adding duplicated capabilities, in an environment where you have Active Directory and Centrify, these things can be solved right away. Uh, additional benefits are the fact that you know the robustness of the Centrify agent uh, and how to integrate with AD and some of the tools that it has to make your life much easier. Basically, it's going to look like this. We're going to have a, a Centrify system that uses MongoDB. It's going to be configured to use a GSS API. And the Centrify agent is going to maintain the Kerberos environment for the end user. And we're going to use a service account to create a key tab with AD key tab. So let's do a little bit of planning first. So this may be a two, uh, you know, a two-person activity because if you are using separation of duties, the the Unix administrator, the Linux administrator, does not have the right to create an account in AD. So you guys are going to work together uh, because AD key tab requires the credentials of somebody that can create that. Uh, alternatively, you can do, um, you know, have the AD you. Uh, the AD administrator create the user account for you with the proper SPNs and UPNs, and then you can adopt the key tab as well. We're going to do everything from the Unix CLI. So first, we need to know a little bit about, about our AD key tab, and we need to know. Okay, we're going to be cre uh, creating a new account, so that's minus N. We're going to we're going to need uh, the credentials of a user in AD, so that's minus U. We're going to need uh, the path to the key tab file. We're going to need uh, the OU. We're going to put that service account and uh, both the UPN and SPN that we need because again a lot of people get confused here this came from the Hadoop uh, video in order for you to uh, get a ticket you need a, a, a TGT but there's ways that you can create you know request just a service ticket so that's where MIT Kerberos and Active Directory kind of differentiate a little bit so let's get started so I've actually disabled uh, all the authentication from my MongoDB server just so I'm able to create a user. That shows how much I know about MongoDB. So this is my command right here. I'm going to copy paste it. Um, and ultimately, um, you know, this is basically AD key tab, new key tab. Use Jerry Seinfeld's account to create that, that uh, particular um, a key tab. Uh, this is the path to the key tab. Uh, the UPN is going to be uh, service MongoDB with the name of the service at the realm and the principal name is this uh, shorter version and the OU is going to be service accounts here in my AD so um, let's go ahead and do this um, I'm gonna I, know, I don't need the force I was testing before so I'm gonna go ahead and do it with a verbose mode so first it's asking me for my AD password because I'm elevating So now it's asking me for Jerry's password. So Jerry's my AD administrator. So I'm using separation of duties here. So if everything works fine, uh, you know, the account was created here. If I refresh my OU here for service accounts, I will see that there's a MongoDB account. But what is the key benefit here? AD key tab will randomize the password for us. The key here is that you don't want anybody knowing the password of a shared account. So uh, what that does is that now we shift the protection of the account to the, the basically the key tab and because of that we're gonna uh, we're gonna basically change the owner to MongoD for that uh, particular key tab so that is um, actually before we do that let's go ahead and test that everything is okay it's kosher in AD so let's do an AD query uh, user and minus ps for MongoDB that shows me the principles notice that it, it has the right user and service principal names now one thing that I want to do I want to be able to use that key tab for um, uh, you know to K in it to it to get a TGT and a TGS so let's go ahead and clear and uh, probably have to modify the path here Uh, the path is actually now for um, varlib
So, um, okay, so no such file directory, that means that I'm making a mistake here, it's barlig mongo. So if I do a K list, I should be able to get a TGT or see a key TGT. There you go, there is a, a TGT right here. If I wanna do the same thing, but get a, a service ticket, um, let's take a look. And again, I have to correct the path here. If I, I do another K list, notice that I have now um, a TGS. So the, everything seems fine now. So key thing is we have to protect the key tab. So in here, I'm gonna do a chown, uh, and uh, this is gonna be for MongoD. And it's var lib mongo. And uh, that way, I make sure that only the account that needs access to that account has access. Of course, you know, if you're using Centrify, you can protect that as well with uh, uh, direct audit uh, to see who's uh, filling with that file. So now uh, what I need to do is create a test user. And uh, it's a different nomenclature here. So I'm gonna launch Mongo and I'm gonna connect to external. And I'm gonna um, cheat here. And I'm gonna create a user for J Peterman. And there you go, J Peterman has a user created. But notice that the nomenclature is using Kerberos nomenclature with a caps lock in the in the suffix here, okay. So now that I've had my my test user and everything, I have to configure Mongo uh, to be ready for Kerberos. So the first thing I need to do is specify uh, what is the key tab that is going to be used. So I'm going to open this uh, uh, this file in sysconfig, and I'm going to add a line here, and it's just basically to export a variable, um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, basically, what is the key tab? Then I'm gonna uh, uh, vi to that uh, uh, config file for Mongo, and I want to make sure that uh, in the bindings uh, I'm gonna comment this line here. Otherwise, the uh, Kerberos is not gonna work, or GSS API is not gonna work. And I'm gonna enable the things that I disable, so I'm on it, uh, gonna be able to to use the additional authentication mechanisms. Now I'm going to add here GSS API as an additional mechanism. And um, you know, now we are ready to start testing. So this should be good for both plain text and GSS API. So we're going to do both. And now I need just to um, you know, do a session with uh, our friend Jay Peterman. So remember that uh, the J Peterman is a DBA, and we did additional security by binding the, you know, limiting the PAM access by creating the MongoDB uh, PAM access model. Other people cannot access Mongo, even if they have a user, because we're using PAM. That's with plain. So let's go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, do our testing first. We need to make sure that we have a, a Kerberos ticket. That's one of the benefits of Centrify when the person logs in. They get their own TG, uh, TGT. So if I do a user share centrify DC Kerberos bin K list, notice that the location of the centrify MIT Kerberos tools is in a different place. So I have a ticket for Jay Peterman. And I'm going to test first with uh, our Kerberos uh, authentication. Uh, I need to launch Mongo with the name of the server. So it will be Mongo. 3 because that's the key tab service principal names that we put in sentry.corpcontoso.com actually one thing that I have not done is to uh, restart the mongo service so let's do dz do service mongodb restart all right so let's go ahead and launch mongo with the name of the server mongo So there you go, now we, we're, we're in, and uh, let's just uh, 
do a cheat sheet here and try authentication with GSS API. Notice that we have success right here. And because we also enable plain, we can actually do that nasty command that shows the, the password the user in there. And, uh, and there you have it. So we've enabled both GSS API and plain. And the benefits are that with Centrify, you don't have to worry about the, the, the layer with the integration with AD. And we maintain the Kerberos environment for you. And we provide you additional benefits in terms of securing access to MongoDB. I hope this uh, set of videos helped and keep watching the blog.